Welcome to the analysis part of the QPCR Soft 5. In this part, I want to give you further details on the available analysis option of the generated results of the QTower IRIS. In this video, I want to discuss the absolute quantification analysis. In the absolute quantification, we want to find out what is the concentration of our unknown samples compared to our standards that we amplified. As an example, I will open a file from our demo data that is also available on the setup CD. In this demo data, we will see that in a thermal cycler, we scanned a three-step protocol as well as a melting curve and one channel, the blue channel with cyber green dye is scanned. For the absolute quantification analysis, it is a distinct sample layout required. We recommend to use at least three concentrations with three replicates for the standard curve of the gene of interest and also three replicates of the samples of unknown concentrations. Here we have four different concentrations of our standard with three dilutions and we have three different unknowns. In the monitoring view, you see the obtained data of the DNA amplification, where you can already judge the performance of the measurement and you can also already calculate the CT. For the analysis of absolute quantification, you have to add an absolute quantification either via the icon or the drop-down menu. And then you enter a name and press OK. Then we select a gene of interest or channel of detection, which was CyberGreen in this case. In the Explorer bar, you can select which wells should be displayed in the analysis. You can, for example, only select the standards. Here you will see that the single 1 to 10 dilutions have an approximate CT difference of 3.3 CT values and our unknown samples lie in between those curves. With the concentrations of the standards, the software then creates a standard curve, which can be investigated in this tab down below. The standard curve also gives additional values, such as the regression or R-square, which indicates how well the points fit our standard curve. It gives the slope and the offset and the PCR efficiency. If the PCR efficiency of the used primers is at 1 in each cycle, the amplicon is doubled in each cycle. If it's lower, the PCR efficiency is less optimal. Ideally, it lies between 0.85 and 1.05. In the table view, you can see the CT values of our curves and the calculated concentrations of our standards. And on the basis of the standard curve, the software calculates the concentrations of the unknown samples, which will be shown here. By clicking to the well, you can change the arrangement of the table from column-wise to row-wise and vice versa. When you compare the curves of the unknown samples that lie above or between the curves of the standards, you will see that the concentrations of the samples also lies above or between the standard concentrations accordingly. The results of the table can be exported to Excel via right-click onto the table and then choose between XLS file or CSV file. With the results of the standard curve, you can proceed in a similar way by right-clicking onto the diagram and either copy the chart or save the chart and save it as a CSV file. For a more detailed export of the results, you can create a print report. For this, you either click onto the icon 
or via the drop-down menu File and Print. On the left side, you choose the different information you want to have shown and then press Show Report. And then you will have all the different information of the setup and all the tables. And this can then be directly printed via this icon or saved. And this brings me to the end of my tutorial on the absolute quantification analysis.